Hi, we're going to go ahead and add a forum activity type. So we click add, editing is on, I'm in my course. We click uh, add activity and click forum. Okay, so we get to our forum page here. So we're going to, our forum is named the sample forum activity. Uh, form type standard for general use. Okay, so you can go through and and, uh, and you know play around with some of these options. Um, uh, usually, the standard form is the best way to go on this. Um, Q and A is also a good a good form. Uh, if you want to get some more uh, information on the form types, there's a really good documentation here. Um, so you can uh, kind of take a look at these different form types. We're going to go ahead and put in some. Um, oops. We're going to go ahead and put in some just kind of standard lesson text uh, for our sample activity, um, mainly because of the fact that um, uh, we like to have some sample uh, text in there. Um, you know this. Uh, so the form introduction. Uh, this is going to be where the students are given their instructions for this forum. So whatever it is that you want the students to do, uh, whatever introduction you want to give, whatever instructions you want to give in a written format, this is where that's done in the forum introduction. Uh, that's, the, that's the text the students will see from you to initiate the activity. So subscription mode, uh, uh, this is a really important one. So subscription mode, we're going to take a look at these. So optional, forced, auto, and subscription disabled. So subscription is not allowed. This means that where students are actually emailed copies of the forum posts. So if the students don't have a meaningful email address, uh, we can just subscription disable. Okay. Optional subscription means that they can go in and choose whether to, to receive the forum post via email. It's probably best to leave it as optional unless your students, unless all of your students are, are prohibited from using email in school, which is fairly rare. Okay, read tracking for this forum. This this is going to say who's reading what. Maximum attachment size is just how what size uh, file attachment can people upload. Um, I I usually set this higher. Um, only because a lot of the new file formats, you know, use are just larger. You know, a 500k file is just going to be a Word document in most cases, so or a small photograph. Maximum number of attachments is nine. Okay, RSS feed. I would leave this to none and zero unless you're really using RSS. Uh, post threshold for blocking. This um, this is going to take care of malicious users. Now, in a class, unless you're u having anonymous users, you know, I'm not sure how uh, how how much this is required. But basically, how many posts could a student put up in this number of days? So up to a week. Let's say in one week, if they post more than 100 times, uh, we're going to block them. And if they post more than 50 times, we're going to warn them. Okay. Grade category. Uh, of course, if you're using the Moodle grade uh, grade book, you're going to want to use assign it a category. Uh, the rating system. Uh, so we can go ahead and rate the. Um, we can turn on a rating system for the forum uh, posts. Uh, we're going to leave that blank for now, and let's go ahead and save and display. Oops, but not after, before I fix my. Uh, justification here. The we have a problem. A lot of times in Moodle, Moodle it will um, for some reason it will center justify text. So I just fix that. Save and display. Okay. So um, so here we have our. Uh, this is what the student would see. This forum has a limit to the number of forum posts you can make in a given time period. This is currently set to 100 posts in one week. Okay. So um, you know you might want to go in and as a teacher, you know your your introduction might be that the student has to create topics. Uh, your introductory text might be that the student has to answer a discussion topic that you create. Um, in general, I think it's best for the teacher to go in and create at least one discussion topic uh, so that students have something to work off of. Um, so let's say. Um,
Okay, so we do a discussion topic, um, subscription. Um, so I do not want emails myself. We can change the maximum file size, or I can attach, you know, I can attach files to this. Uh, let's say that I want to do a discussion post, and you know, my topic is a programmer, and I'm going to upload the the a PDF of the Wikipedia article about that programmer. And we click upload file. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and say post to forum. Okay, so it's saying that we have 30 minutes to edit and make changes, otherwise it's permanent. Okay, so here is a discussion topic. Now when the students come in, they'll also see the same discussion topic, and they can go in uh, to the discussion topic now, and they can uh, reply to the post. So let's say that we go in, and let's say I want to, um, now it's 30 minutes so I can edit or delete this still, but let's say the student wants to come in now, and now they have to reply um, reply to this post. Um, and they might say, Largely created kernel. Okay, so we'd answer this post, um, and your settings are still the same. I don't want to get emails if you've already set it. Okay, so we can reply to this post. So essentially, what's going on here is that um, you know now this discussion post will go will. Uh, do you see how the, the these are indented, right? So basically, this is the original discussion, and then these posts. Uh, if I were to reply to this post, it would be further indented. If I were to reply to the original post, it would be indented at the same at the same spot as this second post, as the re post. Okay, and we can also move this discussion. If I'm the you know if I'm the administrator, students can't move things around like this. Okay, so let's go back out, and we are going to go back out to the original forum. And students can do that on the right-hand side here. So we can go back out to the original forum. This is ours was the sample forum activity. And they can go back out to the original forum. Okay, so there we have it. And you can go in and, uh, and actually um, you know, see which students have posted and thereby grade their, their assignment. I hope that helps.